Hi everybody, it's Carol, and I'm back again with planning in my Happy Planner from um, October 31st to November 6th. And I'm going to do a little something different this time. I have these um, vintage ladies, and these are from Tim Holtz, and I want to bring I want to bring these in. I want to back it on some cardstock, and then I want to use some of these florals so you'll see what I mean as I start doing this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my tape here and as evenly as I can put them on put them on here I have some sort of a plan that I want to do but you know, sometimes when you plan, it doesn't doesn't really come out that way. But it usually does come out really nice. So let me put these off to the side and I'll bring these in. a nice long lady okay let's see all right so I think what I'm going to do is maybe try and lay these ladies down first and then I'll put my flowers in this way I have some kind of a base and I want I don't want to keep them in the line because I want to be able to put some of these florals around around them they're just um, also I'm going to use these live love posh flowers among them and I'm going to use um, happy planner stickers from the pressed florals pack when I went through them I just got this a couple of weeks ago and I just love everything in here and I thought these flowers here would be so beautiful with with these kind of ladies so this is my plan and I don't know, I was thinking because she's long, maybe put her in the sidebar somewhere in there. I'll keep the colors together. You know, I don't know, I could put, put the blue there and that there, just kind of mix them up. I could put her at the top, put her at the bottom. I think I'm gonna put her on the bottom and then I'll just put flowers all around all around the ladies and I do have quotes in this in this book here that I want to incorporate but they're kind of big I may have to all right we'll see I'm just gonna put them down because I don't want to spend too much time kind of guessing. And it always turns out, it always works out. You know, I do other videos, not only planning here I also make journals and a lot of things I use are from Tim Holtz papers and card stocks and that's where these ladies are from okay so what I think I'll do now these are similar they're not exact flowers but I don't mind that 
I think I'm going to put maybe this corner piece down here because it's big enough. Get this stuff here. What I'll do is I'm going to use my. I do have some wax paper here. I'm just going to tear this in half. And then I'll see. there. Oh, I want to keep, I think I want to keep it down toward the bottom. So I could put that there. I see, I just love the flowers around these ladies. I think they look so pretty. And I do have, I wonder if that's the same size. Let me see if this is the same size. Now this here, this here, um, these planning pages are strictly for decoration. I already did my functional one. I don't know, this could be, able to, yeah, this is a little bigger. So, oh, wow, look at, I like that up there. I think I may p put the bigger one up here. But if I go all the way up, I'm going to go all the way up. It'll cover up 31 a little bit. And I don't mind that. So let me stick this up there. I'm covering up October, November. But. Oops, that's going down crooked. Oh, uh, you know, it's going to have to gonna twist that a little bit. Let's see if I can fix it. Let's see if I can fix this. will be in the good. How to get that big bubble out. And maybe I'll cut around. to do something over here and get that white. You can see the white up there. I'll put something there. Okay, now, so this one, shall I put this one over here?
I don't know, I think I'm liking that. And then I can put something else over here. I think I'm going to go over here. Now let's see how... how I can get this down here. It looks so easy when you have it on the, the wax paper. Cut these little bits off. Okay. Ooh, that looks so pretty. So pretty. Okay. And let's see. Let's get some of these. I'm just going to put... Actually, what I'm going to do is... this in half right through the middle and put half of it on here and a little bit on there I'm just playing I do this a lot I I'll cut them in half on the bottom. Ooh, that looks pretty. And what I like to do with these ladies here is I'm going to take this red rose and let's see if I if it's going to oh it may not I may not be able to do that because I think what it's going to do is I think it's going to blend in too much I like to put it down like on the side but I think because it's so dark over there need my tweezers for this. Yes, I'm going to have to. That's what I love about these flowers. You can cut them in half. That looks pretty. I'm not thinking what I'm going to do with this here little flower. I think I'm going to Just don't know which way to turn it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to get some a little bit of something in there. Okay, and the, this other half of the rose.
this up here. Oh, I am loving this so far. So this is strictly going to be decoration as I'm not writing in here. I will show you what I did with my other planner. The other page, my functional one. This is my decorating one. And let me get a quote down before I put any more flowers in here. There were so many that I saw in here. And I can, I have purples in here and pinks. My colors are all mixed up. Oh, before, I want to look at a couple before I put them down. I can put this one here, right over here. Or just bloom. Okay, I think, and then I can go up into the flowers. Let's see. Oops, let's see if. Oop. Yo, don't stick down now. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. I think I'm going to put it right here. Hopefully it goes down straight. Seek beauty in all things. And I want to put something over there. I could bring in this purple because there's a lot of purple flowers over here and it's grow through what you g grow through what you go through oh my gosh I can never get this in there hmm It's a little over, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some of these beautiful flowers over here. I just love these. So, so, so pretty. The hard part is trying to pick one. I wish they were clear. I really, I'm not a fan of these being. Do I, have... <coughs> I am so sorry about that. Stella heard something outside. I actually didn't hear anything. I think what I want to do is bring in some of these flowers first. I'm not really a fan of the one I just picked up. Not this one here. This one here I love, but the paper one. <clears throat> this is my favorite thing to do with these flowers. Ooh, I have to go late to the end. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I just punctured a hole through here. glue that down and this one here I think I think I'm just gonna put it there okay I do have my glue stick Okay, all fixed. Okay, let's bring some of these flowers back in. I could probably use up this whole sheet right here on this page. I tend to overly decorate with when it comes to the florals. But this is something that I will love to look at. I will love to look at this spread. have enough florals for the other side. I'm just going to put that one right there. Okay, yeah, I think I'm overdoing it with these flowers, but you know what, this is what I do, I mean, I, I think this is gorgeous, I love this, let me get this one here. Just trying to think I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be able to put the other flowers in here because I'm just going crazy with these flowers let me see if I can save room oh gosh I I love this Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is go through my pack here, through the book, and see what I could, what I can put in here, if anything. I should put a little something up here, though. Like, even if I... I could probably use this here. I 
cut these little ends off. Stick this on here, and I can bring this flower thing in. This little, I don't know what what this is. Oh, this is hard to get out. I don't know if this is lavender. I don't know. I could put this up against there, but see, I, I just love these flowers so much better. I don't think I like that. I just thought something long and skinny would go pretty in there. But I want to bring purple in here because there is a little bit of purple throughout here. I don't like that it's white. Okay, let's see what else I have here. I wish it was clear. This over here. I wish this wasn't so big, but I think I may want to bring I should use the one that I cut in half, but I think maybe I'll put this one over here. Okay, I think I'm liking it now getting better for me. Okay, I do like it now. I need something there. put that other little purple one. I think I'm going to use this. I'm happy. Yeah, I think I'm liking this, although I probably need something around here. I don't know, to me it looks just a little bare. I wonder if I can just put these little, oh, I can use this. little leftover oh now that looks like it has to have something over there I think I'll put this little so very light 
kind of sprig. So I'll put a half there. Okay, I think that looks nice. I think that fills it in real pretty. Okay, I like it. I think these ladies look very, very nice. I want to do something different. My other one is functional. I'll show you that in a second. And I just wanted to bring in these Tim Holtz ladies and just put these flowers around them. Now this is my Strictly Decorating Planner. And this one here is same dates, October 31st through November 6th. And this is my functional with all my dates and to-dos, what I have to do. I have... Um, walking Stella and I'm trying to bring in different you know still use my florals and 31st this is my Halloween I have Halloween on the sidebar and on the 31st and then I have appointments and I'm sure there's more gonna more that's gonna come in here so I have some room on the boxes over here and then over here for the weekend and if need be I'll stick in another another box so this is my decorating functional planner and this one here is my just my decorating planner so this is it and thank you so much for coming along and joining me and until next time you have a good day bye